All right, so in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to record and edit a song in GarageBand iOS, which would be the GarageBand app um, on an iPad. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna open up the GarageBand app. And then what I wanna do is I wanna click that little blue plus symbol in the top right hand corner to create a new song. Now, we got a couple different choices with all types of instruments, but what we wanna do is we wanna do audio recorder and we wanna choose voice. All right, from here we are ready to record. Now, if you're using an external microphone, it's just important to make sure that it's plugged in correctly. Um, if you need any adapters, if it's a microphone not specifically meant for a iOS device that you have those correct adapters and then it's always good to do a test right plug the mic in tap it and see if it is actually reading your voice right notice I tapped it and on the left hand side the volume shot right up all right so here we got a couple different options we want to stick though with studio and lead vocals uh, it's just going to give some good preset settings from GarageBand that help the recording turn out best when you're Ready to record, one thing you wanna keep in mind is on the right side over there, you see that blue triangle, the symbol of a metronome. Uh, that is going to keep the beat. However, it's also going to make a clicking sound as metronomes do, uh, which is gonna get picked up by the mic. So we actually wanna turn that off. All right, now it's unselected. When you're ready to record, click the red record button. It's gonna count you in. And then you wanna record, right? La, 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 la. La 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 la. And then when you're done, you can hit the square stop symbol and then you can always listen back to it. All right. So now what you're going to do is if you see in the top left hand corner, you have that symbol of some different rectangles uh, right there. Right. We clicked it and now I noticed it turned into a microphone. And now this is the different tracks. So what's important when you're recording audio is you want to do it multiple times in multiple tracks and the reason why is there's chances that on the first time recording you had a great introduction uh, but at some point you went a little bit off key right well you want to keep the great introduction part and then just redo the off key part and the way you're going to do that is in this view i'm going to click that plus button now in the bottom left hand corner and again, it's going to give me choices, and I want to do audio recorder, choose voice, and now I'm going to give it another try. It's going to count me in. La 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 la. Hit that square stop button when I'm done. And again, in that top left hand corner, I'm going to hit that button with that multiple layers or three rows of rectangles. All right, and so now I've got two vocal tracks right there. Now let's give it a listen. All right, so as I'm listening to it, maybe again, I'm gonna cut some parts. Maybe there's parts of it that I don't really want to use and so forth or I wanna drag it around. So let's say in that top one, first thing I wanna do is I wanna select it and I wanna cut off, zoom in a little bit, Right, I want to cut off that beginning part where I haven't started singing yet. Right, and what I can do is just simply drag that end. There we go. And now I'll just take the whole track and drag it to the beginning. Now, let's say I don't want that middle part because I messed up right there. I'm going to hold my finger down on the track and give a little tap. And then what I want to do is choose split. And now I want to drag the playhead or drag the scissors to the part that I want to cut. And then simply drag down. And now notice, right, when I unselect my scissors, I've now got two parts, right? So I can do that again and cut that little middle part maybe where I messed up. Give it a tap, choose split, drag my scissors to where I wanna cut, drag down, and then now I take that part and I can select it, tap by tapping on it and click delete. All right, and let's say I wanna take that middle part of my bottom track. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select that bottom track and then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna tap it, choose split. This is actually the part that I want. Drag it over there, 
drag it down, and I'm going to take that part, make a little more space for it up on that top track, take it, drag it, and bring it up, bring it together, and then I can always delete these parts if I don't need. Again, I just tap on it. Leap. Now what I do want to do is, notice I've got a multiple tracks here. Both are lamed lead vocals. Why do I want to do that? I want to rename those to help myself stay organized. All right, to rename it, again, I'm going to click on that microphone and I'm going to click rename. I'm going to name this one my main vocals. I want to click return on my keypad and I've got main vocals. All right, so now Maybe I have to do then the chorus again. So what am I going to do? I'm going to click that plus button in the bottom left-hand corner. All right, and then maybe I'm now going to record my chorus. It's going to count me in. La, 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 la. This is my chorus. La, 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 la. This is my chorus. Hit stop. Go back to that main tracks. Again, I want to rename it so I know that that's my chorus. Rename. Call it chorus. All right, and then click return on my keypad, my course. And again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go in there and cut and edit parts that are good and parts that are not. Now, let's say you now want to add in your audio track, right? Because we're singing a song here for a track that's already been recorded, meaning the music. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on that loop button in the top right-hand corner right next to the wrench. And what I want to do is I want to click on files and I want to add the file of my song. Now, if you have not uh, already airdropped or let's say the file of the song is on a computer, what you want to do is you want to airdrop the song over and I'll show you what to do once your iPad asks whether you want to accept. All right, so now to get your song from a MacBook over to your iPad, what I want to do is on my MacBook, so this is my MacBook screen, right, being shared with my iPad screen, I'm going to choose the file. Do my secondary click, choose share, and airdrop it. Choose the iPad. And now over here is the iPad. I want to click accept on my iPad. And I want to save it to files. And what's easiest is on my iPad, uh, GarageBand file transfer, and then click add. All right, and then I can go back to my GarageBand. And then I can remove this screen here. All right, so to add the song, I'm going to go to that loop. And again, I'm going to go to Files, and there's the song that I just added. I can preview of it, and then when it's the right one, I'm going to click, drag, and I'm going to drop it now to a new track. It's going to import, and there we go. Now I've got my music ready to go. When I'm done editing all my vocals, and they're ready to go, I then just want to line it up, right? So to do that, I can zoom out, or I could select my tracks and move my tracks around all right to get them exactly to the point that I want I right, move it so it's lined up with the beat and so forth and right, maybe that chorus is over here you know whatever it is if I need to take the song and do any edits there maybe cut out the one part or drag it around and so forth and then at this point Right, I got one last thing to show you, which is now adjusting certain parts of the volume. Right, so you'll notice that in each track, right, you do have the volume button right there that you can adjust. But let's say you want to adjust just certain parts of a track. Right, that's called automation. It's an awesome, awesome tool. Now I want to show you how to adjust the volume of a specific track in just specific parts. Right. So to do that, it's a tool called automation. What you want to do is click on the microphone of the track you want to use the tool in. All right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose that little line right there. And then what I can do is click on the line, and I'm going to drag out additional points where I would like to make the volume raise or lower. So let's say I want to lower that middle part. Drag one line. Up in the top left corner, I'm going to do the lock. Slide that over to locked. All right. Okay. Unslide the lock. And now what I can do is I can drag out certain pieces of my volume, right? So let's say actually there I wanted to not lower the volume. I wanted to raise it. 
All right, so what I would do is I'd actually need another point. All right, and now I can now go back in, unlock it, and I can adjust certain parts of the volume by just clicking and dragging those dots up and down. All right, and what's I gonna do? It's gonna raise the volume right in that main spot right up there and so forth. So that's automation. To turn automation off, I just go up to that done button, click done, and now my automation's turned off. Right, so that there is the basics of using and recording your voice with GarageBand iOS, which is the GarageBand app. Again, showing you how to record audio, how to do some basic editing, uh, as well as how to add a music track, and then finally how to adjust volumes in certain sections. To make a good recording, it's just now a little bit of patience to record as many times until you get the right take and then to edit out all those bad takes and find those hidden gems of wonderful singing as you're working. Good luck.